sorry, the stream just kept falling there. Uh, just to show that we've now crossed over um, from the other side, poetically, young Wensley's in his tractor behind us. I assume he only wishes how much faster he could go. And uh, the ladies continue to walk slowly um, as we choose. I'll try to get to the front now. So this is Women's Call Wednesdays. It's the call for calm. And this is our fifth one. Sorry to repeat myself, but there are people who just joined the stream. And uh, get a job, really. Honestly, you think that at some point, angry people would actually be... Yeah, they think they're unique. What you thought of your little light bulb? Can we get a job to a lot of pensioners? Yeah. Even after yesterday morning's really appalling footage of very bad events that took place outside Maple, I feared that maybe these women wouldn't trust enough their ability to hold the calm space and be willing to bring their children and themselves to this road. And yet again, for the fifth time, they have showed their just honourable determination not to be stopped in what we choose to do. And it's a really beautiful thing to see. And it makes me really proud to be amongst this community. You're doing a brilliant job, girls. Excellent work, thank you. Josh, amazing as always. <laughs> I was going to start. Morning, Anne. So in a way, I can be right. Just got my double Mr. Wensley, very unhappy. This is no bad thing. A man deserves to feel the community's anguish for selling us out. Right, so the purpose of today is not as it is at every other moment on this road when we choose um, to prevent work happening on the site. The purpose of today and all Wednesdays is the call for calm. It's not about stopping vehicles, and so we don't do sit-ins, we don't do stopping trucks. What we do is a line of peaceful protest that stands in front of the police line in a 15-minute silent vigil. And uh, the way it's going to work today, each week we are getting to the point where we're bringing props. So this week, each of us has something um, to bring to the site, which is a pebble, and we've written our messages on those pebbles. And we've got to place those after we come out of the silence and have a song. We're then going to place the pebbles, which looks something like this. And we're going to place those where our bodies would be. So we're all going to leave the pebbles in the driveway. Not to stop vehicles again, not the purpose. It's to leave our purpose and intent in our message and a stone in place of our bodies. I've spoken to the police about it and at some point we know they'll have to be cleared and uh, the female officer said, will you be upset or offended if we cleared them at some point? We said, no, it was all right if you just leave them there for a period of time um, so that the message is there and then um, if I see them clearing, I'll go over and help and we'll collect the, um, thank you, we'll collect the pebbles and see what we want to do with them. I think a lot of us were talking about maybe leaving them on Blackpool Beach. Those messages. I love that singing. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, I don't want to deal with provocation today, though. This is... Yeah, 
rocks in the sun. Long ago, the Gigi and the Mulga tree, where the desert people can be. The ladies who pray are at the back. The event walk lasts longer, but then um, the rest of us who reach the front first form the line, hold the ribbon. Thank you, boys, for being good and calm today. You're doing a beautiful job. Thank you. And by the time the other ladies catch up with us, we'll put the ribbon in place and we'll be um, forming our line. Yeah. It's not too bad. This is the line of the prayer ladies, so yeah. inevitably we'll... But I will get it to hold. It looks like they've hold anyway. Good stuff. Stay. Yeah, let the traffic pass and the others catch us up a bit. Just pausing to let the bulk of this pass. Okay, we carry slowly because the lady at the back with the walking stick, so... I can't help my natural need to dash about. <laughs> I start with a slow walk and I'm like, no, I really must get where I'm going. Yeah. And I think that's a woman thing. We're not very good at this going slow because we're very busy. <laughs> The police have uh, also um, promised that they will remove the additional vans from Win the Great Way so that there's room to accommodate our silent vigil. I'm looking up ahead and seeing some police activity, but I can't see that much will be going on. I wouldn't imagine a delivery would be coming at this time, surely. I would have thought that they'd be delayed. I'm going to ignore that for now and come back to this way. Good move. Need to keep the motion so we're not obstructing. If your feet are moving, you're not obstructing, and that's a good thing. Piss off and get a life. What a rude, intolerant man. Piss off and get a life when he can see there are children, elderly people, and nothing but peaceful demonstration. I think isn't that a thing called mirroring, i.e. he doesn't have a life, and therefore wishes to impose his sadness on us. He needs to get an education. He does he? need to get an education. Still moving in little steps is good. Who's got the ribbon? Good. I'm now wondering where the music box is. I know, disgusting, isn't it? Hey, lovely, how are you feeling? You better? Did you see where the music box got? That I think. Oh, good, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah. And we did a morning talk and we discussed what the purpose of Wednesdays is. 
and the purpose isn't to stop business on a Wednesday. It's to act as the mothers and the grandmothers who are absent from the street, of every human who's on this street that wants to call for calm, you know, and better behaviour amongst the way that the police treat protesters and so on. Which is which is very pertinent, considering we've just yeah. had six well, we need about six 20 women. Kelly kettles a year. Really, just now? To get well casings in. Yeah. Oh, crazy. Really very intrusive yeah. and, and unnecessary for six people who yeah. six women who were sat having a broom and we told them before it came in we know it's coming in yeah. but there's six of us and we're sat here and we're not moving yeah. um, and they still felt the need to for six, six OSU um, with all the officers in them today though we're going to stay calm not provoke not cause any issues we do what we do just to get a reset point every week where this road for a period of time has no violence and aggression on it at least it's an attempt to after yesterday I was just such I didn't sleep last night no, it, it I kept waking thinking I would see this instead looking like yesterday morning that it would be all these people and then they wouldn't come back you know Good work, you set the pace, perfect. No, we move forward and do our ribbon, get in place. That's all right, we'll catch up. This happened last week. It's, you know, I, I don't want to, we're not going to push on that. It's a call for calm, not provocation. And the aim is the calm. We've created the calm on the street. That's right, it is. I haven't said it, I'm just saying what I've been saying all morning. It's a call for calm. Like that. That's brilliant. As I looked in dismay, Mrs. May cut your pace. She cut your numbers down by size and I stood by and criticised. Now I stand and stare in wonder as you facilitate this blunder. I think now you must all be balmy now you've joined Quadrilla and Teresa's army. <laughs> Beautiful. The slower walkers at the back are the ladies who are laying down the prayers there always the slower ones but by the time we get to the front we'll have the ribbon in place we do need to maintain motion or we obstruct and it's all right the ladies at the back will catch us up once we've got the ribbon in place they've moved the vans out of the way so we're cleared okay. yes we must oh, sugar. yeah i forgot about that there's a call for calm but it doesn't work on dogs <laughs> <laughs> Some of the slow walkers at the back, so we've gone very slow at the front in order to accommodate and make this possible for everybody of every ability to be able to be a part of this. Kind volunteers help with the wheelchairs. Hi, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good yeah. so far. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> yeah. Flighty yeah. moment. Yeah, yeah. It was nearly a hit. <laughs> Hiya, Sham. Nice to see you with us. Sorry, Sham. Well, nice to see you with us. For those who can't be here, it's great to have you on live stream. Never underestimate the power of your words because all of these ladies will read them later and they will feel supported and also aware that for each woman that walks here she walks yeah. for many many who can't walk here and we're acutely aware of that
Hi Karen, Teresa, I can see your names every once in a while. I have a cracked screen, it's hard to see. But as I see the names fly by, it's so reassuring and the love hearts and so on. So uh, later on, we'll get time to read these comments back and uh, we'll warmly appreciate your words of support. It's a brave thing that a lot of these people do. A lot of these ladies only do this action. They, they don't, you know, they're, they're committed as child carers or they care for their elderly relatives or they're disabled. You know, there's a million reasons why you can't be at this roadside. And for some of these women, this is the only little bit of time they can snatch. And when we arrange the timings to be roughly um, 9.30 till about 12.30, the reasoning behind that was it was during term time when we started. And we wanted to make it possible that someone could do the school run and yet still be part of this in the few hours that they weren't doing childcare. And that's how it worked out to be so well. And although it's school holidays now, we've been privileged to have the children of some of these women with us as well, which I think just adds to the trust that we're placing, and not just in ourselves, but to the other people on this street to maintain what we insist on in our community, which is, you know, not always lived up to, which is the maintenance of safe environment for us um, by our police force who have been abused and used by Quadrilla in ways they shouldn't be. But it feels like the one day they actually work totally with us, at least one period of time. I'll never be complacent. You're always just a slight prickly glance over your shoulder every once in a while. But essentially it's, it feels okay. I feel stronger on Wednesdays than I do on the other days. Okay. I'm going to pause this because I need to go up and get the yellow ribbon in place. And I'll restart this once we're at the silence. Thanks for being there.